Now we're going to set up our first Picasso web album. Uh, first, uh, we're presuming we logged out. We're logging back in right now. So we have to go to Picasso web albums. And we have to sign in. And as you remember, we're I'm a member 8 at gmail.com. And we type in our password. If we put remember me on this computer, it will remember the email address, but not the password. But Microsoft uh, Windows will take care of that with a pop-up that will ask us do we want it to remember. And we said yes. Now we're going to Picasso Web Albums, and uh, there's some information there how to get started with the Web Albums and how to upload. We're going to uh, upload photos, uh, and when we when we click on the Upload Photos button, which we'll do just in a second, we click on it. It knows that we don't have any albums there, so it's going to immediately ask us some information to set up our first album. First it wants a title and give it a t give it any title that you want. Then it asks for the date. Uh, it will default with the date in which you're working but you might want to put the date of the event or uh, the date that the pictures were taken. And then it wants you to put an optional description of what the album is. description there and then it says uh, it wants a where it was taken and that's also optional and because I'm putting in Naples Florida it immediately goes to uh, the Google Maps and adds a map of the location that I just typed in that's kind of neat to have uh, next to where the pictures were taken so if you're doing a lot of traveling it'll actually show the show where you're located and then it asks do you want it to be public or unlisted. I'm putting in unlisted and in most cases that's what I prefer and then I can then invite friends to take a look at it. The rest of the world doesn't know it's there and can't see it. Uh, there's some information on installing the Picasa web al uh, album upload control and you do want to download that and install it and it remind you that uh, Windows has some security in place and that because uh, uh, in order to upload it you have to tell it to install the ActiveX control make sure you do that and then uh, it may take a few seconds and then uh, it'll go back to this screen and to give you the instructions and then the pop-up uh, window to download and install the uh, ActiveX control and go ahead and tell it to install it. Okay, it's now installed. It's that quick. Now we want to add some photos. You're, you're going to need to know where your photos are located. Uh, in this case, I have them under pictures. And then I have a, f uh, a folder called Photos to Upload. And, and, and there's five photos there. We're going to uh, if you want to click on one, you can do it one at a time. If you want to do more than one, you can either do it uh, by hitting the control key and then uh, adding additional ones or the if you hold the shift key down, the first and the last. In this case, right now, we're going to add two photos. And it's, uh, let's see, maybe we ought to add a third. So we're going to go ahead and click add photo. We're, we still haven't done it. All we're doing is getting it ready to... Uh, to add and we're choosing the ones we want. So we're choosing three out of the five and then we're going to click the upload button. Now depending upon your s connection speed how quickly this will go and always remember that uploading does take longer than downloading so it may take and it depends upon the size of the pictures which you're uploading. When it's done uploading It will take a few seconds for it to, uh, uh, once it's done uploading and it goes to the new screen, it will take a few seconds for it to uh, post the pictures because it's got to do some, some work at its end. Uh, and 
and that's I, I didn't click on that but uh, at this point this is what's happened uh, we're now looking at the album and it's doing some work behind the scenes and then you'll see the pictures show up there they are one of them being the cover picture and at this point we have three pictures and we want to add those other two uh, and to do that we're going to now uh, move down on the screen and we're going to go to where it says upload pictures or upload photos in other words what I'm showing you here is if you don't add them all at once you can go back and add more either in that session or go back another time and add more pictures to your album so we're going to add the other two now by clicking on them and then tell it to upload them once they're rendered in the uh, add photos box and we're doing that when it finishes uploading those two pictures we'll have a total of five pictures in our album and there are the five pictures one of the things you can do is go to a slideshow let's take a look at the slideshow so you can look at the pictures in a slideshow format it will automatically go to the next picture if you click on, in the black area there it will bring the menu back up but as we go through the five pictures In our, we're doing the slideshow and when we have the menu when the menu comes up we can click and click on pause and then click X to uh, close out the slideshow and we're back at our screen where all of the pictures are located uh, you can there are several things that you can do there's some buttons there uh, that's what we do to create a, a photo album.